Good morning, STMS. Welcome to The Wave, Channel 13. Today is Monday, May 17th, 2021. Birthdays from May 17th through the 20th. May 17th, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Cooksum and Jalen McGee. May 18th, there are none. May 19th, Kedrick Plummer and Elena Gregg. And May 20th, Jonalyn Horta and Joyce Adiazwano. Sorry if I mispronounced your name and have a great day. Announcements. Please take advantage of virtual support hours. 10 hours per week in each content area are offered virtually. They are open to all students. Check the schedule on the district website. Remember, school tomorrow, Tuesday, May 18th, is, vir is virtual for all learners. Please log in on time. Keystone and PSSA guidelines. Keystones are May 17th and 19th for AIS students and May 20th for ARA students. ARA math PSSAs are Friday, May 21st. Cell phones and smartwatches are not permitted during testing. All cell phones and smartwatches will be collected upon entry to the testing room. All cell phones and smartwatches must be powered off and placed in individual clear bags with, labeled with your name. All backpacks must be placed in the front of the classroom or area designated by your classroom teacher. Approved calculators are allowed. Consider joining lunch brunch groups. Lunch Bunch will meet Wednesday, May 19th. Students can sign up via a form found on Ms. Dobbins or Ms. Burton's teacher pages. The first 10 students to sign up in each lunch period will earn a spot in the Lunch Bunch to eat outside or in a socially distanced classroom. Sign up closes today, closes Tuesday at three o'clock and learners selected will receive an email with instructions. ARA and IIS students are welcome to participate. And now we have a student spotlight with Ethan Sneed, who is here today to talk about STEM camp. Hi, STMS. Welcome to a WAVE special report. Today we're here with Ethan Sneed talking about this summer's STEM camp. So just to start off, Ethan, what are the camp's plans for this summer? So um, the, the plans for the summer is that they want to help people find their uh, career for the future. So they're going to help us with like science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's just, it's helped, uh, as I said, to do a new career and hopefully future. And can you explain a bit more of the STEM camp initiative? So they, what it's made to do is it's, it's there for kind of, as I said previously, it helps with careers and they just want to mainly focus on also helping with people who work with uh, like a college and like what it's like to be in a college so it's getting you to the next step which then eventually will lead to the uh, future that's definitely good so what do you hope to accomplish or for other students to learn this summer um personally i would like to accomplish going into one of the main i'm probably going to focus more on the engineering to see if it works out um and if it does then i would hope to pursue it in the future. And do you intend to go into the STEM field when you finish high school? So, and if you do, which field and why? Um, so, I guess that engineering would be the one I would want to focus on. Um, and this is just because I've had an interest for specifically civil engineering, which is like if you go out and look into the, like, the city maybe, those buildings that are made are designed by civil engineers or civil engineers and then given off to the architects for approval. But that would that's what I would uh, want to focus on the most. So and if you could have one thing that the STM that STMS can know about STEM, what would that be? Um, I would like them to know that it's a good uh, future opportunity and it can get you set for 
get you set in life and kind of makes life easier. Knowing that you, uh, what you want to pursue is always an option. Okay, are there any other thoughts or any other things you want to share about this? Um, I just would like to say that it's it's an option for anyone. Anyone can do it. Um, and I think it's a real um, step in life to get you on track and on pace to have a easy and nice future. So the last question here, uh, if you wanted to join, how would you do so if you wanted to join the camp? So to join the camp or for what my case was, was that um, I worked really hard and it was actually science that it was I worked really hard in and I believe a teacher noticed that and she gave me like a letter in the mail uh, saying that I should join it um, and then I had to go through enrollment and stuff like that but I would just say that all you have to do to get it is work hard pay attention show an interest in it and that letter might be in your mail during the summer that's great well, thank you, Ethan, for joining us. And that will be all for this WAVE special interview. Now, uh, everyone have a good day, STMS. Meme of the day, animal sounds. Woof, meow, chirp, Gen Z, oof. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching the WAVE. I'm Mrs. Davis. And I'm Nakaya. And have a great week.